So this is the Lamy All-Star EMR pen. It works with a whole range of devices, anything which has a Wacom touch sensitive layer. It's battery free and I'm gonna test it out here with my remarkable paper tablet. The white marker you get with the Remarkable is absolutely fine and writing on the Remarkable does feel really close to writing on paper. They've obviously spent a lot of time working on the Remarkable to make the feel of that nib on the screen feel as close to pencil and paper as they possibly can. And the Remarkable Paper Tablet is a device which is aiming to build on what we love about paper and add some limited digital features to make it even more useful. And I'm interested to see if this Lamy pen can actually just give it that slightly more premium feel. So let's test it out. If you've ever used the Lamy, you will really appreciate the way this pen feels. It feels exactly like one of their Safari ballpoint pens. But unfortunately for it, the nib feels a bit soft. You lose all of that tactile feeling suddenly you feel just like you're writing with a piece of rubber on a piece of glass. It feels nothing like the Remarkable pen does. But that's okay, because there's a really cool hack that you can do with this pen coming up soon. If you're interested in finding out more about the Remarkable and how I use it to organize my professional life, then click the video links just here. I have some reviews and a comparison with an iPad and also some videos about drawing on the Remarkable as well. All of the functionality of the Remarkable works just as well with the Lamy or with the supplied pen. There is a button on the Lamy pen as well, but that does nothing with the Remarkable one because there's no second function for the pen. But that button will work with any other Wacom enabled touchscreen. You can hear the difference when you listen to this next clip. You can hear that friction with the Remarkable marker, but with the Lamy, silence. So I was expecting to like that Lamy a little bit more, but it feels a little bit less like paper and it also feels a little bit less consistent. Sometimes you get lots of friction and then sometimes it feels almost like slippery. Whereas the marker feels consistent, it gives you that consistent friction across the page. And I think this is a bit slippery where my palm has been rested. Unfortunately, there's no way to avoid leaving a slight layer of oil from your skin as your palm slides across the remarkable screen. So I tried giving the screen a bit of a wipe and that did improve it slightly, but it didn't entirely clear it. I'm afraid that's just gonna be the case with this nib. And now here comes the hack. You can actually replace the Lamy nib with a remarkable nib. In which case you have a gold standard for a digital note taker stylus. The Lamy premium quality with all that thought that's gone into making the remarkable marker feel as much like pencil and paper as possible. So thanks very much for watching this video. Let me know if you've got any more questions about the remarkable or digital devices for professionals and check out my other videos.